Hey everybody, welcome back to Muscle Car Camping and I am super duper excited for the car we're featuring tonight. It's a car I've wanted to feature for quite a while now, 1970 AMX, but not just an AMX, it's got the terrific shadow mask paint job. This car is laden with options, 360, four speed, go package, AM, A-Track, I mean all my favorites. In the 1950s, American Motors claimed the only race it was interested in was the human race. Unfortunately, the world went performance car crazy and AMC was on the outside looking in. To fix this, in 1966, it created the AMX Show Car, a gorgeous two-place machine with a rumble seat out back. It was a hit on the show circuit, but everyone knew the market for a two-seater was limited and the company green-lighted the Javelin instead. A stretched four-place version of the AMX for 1968. When Robert Evans became president of AMC, he gave the go-ahead to build the two-seat AMX as long as it shared a lot of common parts with the Javelin to keep costs down. Ford Coupe was late to the muscle car party, but when it arrived on the scene in February of 1968, it was ready for action. You could get it with 390 cubic inches and up to 315 horsepower. Each car was serialized. So that meant the owner got a car with a VIN plate on it that really gave you the idea that you had something special. 1970 was the last of the breed for the two-seat AMXs, and our feature car is really very special. It's one of the last built that year, and if you look at all the numbers, the numbers on the car all match, engine, transmission, everything. It's the correct Matador red paint with the black shadow mask. It has the shadow mask option. More importantly, the owner, Randy Buckner, has the original bill of sale. Our subject vehicle is chock full of really cool options. Air conditioning, AMA track, but what really sets it off is the shadow mask paint. It's one of 982 cars painted that way and really set it off in the muscle car field. This car also has the 360 go package. That gave you a functional hood scoop the heavy-duty suspension, among other things. It also gave you F7014 tires and uh, a heavy-duty cooling system and the AMC twin grip differential. This car came with the uh, Borg Warner four-speed, uh, 354 rear gear. It's equipped to go. I grew up in Kenosha, Wisconsin. When this car was built, my mom was actually a secretary there, and she actually started uh, when it was uh, Nash Kelvinator back in 52, and she worked there till 87, until they, they went under. Um, but yes, we grew up driving AMC cars, and we were more concerned about keeping them running in the winter than we were collecting them like I am now. I've had this car uh, almost a year. Um, I bought it from a collector in Chicago. He had a small collection. He owned it since 2008. Uh, the original owner had it from 1970 until 2008 when unfortunately they, they passed away. What's your favorite part of this car? Uh, definitely the color and the shadow mask. I mean, Matador Red, I, I, I love a sports car in a red color and then the shadow mask, as you mentioned earlier, really sets off the, the red paint. Is there any uh, special memorable moment you've had in this car? Uh, probably the most notable was the day I bought it. I drove it to Kenosha from the north suburbs of Chicago and uh, basically cried all the way there for the 40 minute drive. So yes, that there, that was probably the most memorable so far. Now Randy, this is not something I say in a lot of cars, but hey, can you put that air conditioner on? <laughs> yes, sir. Oh. We'll do it. oh, and it blows nice and cold too. <laughs> oh, this is beautiful. Very, very nice. Young people don't even appreciate something like this. It's like they couldn't care less. They have no idea what they're looking at. <laughs> One guy actually came out to do something at my garage door. He said, is that a Javelin? It's like, wow, you're the closest you know, non-car person that even kind of remotely knew what it was. Yeah. 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 The, uh, a friend of mine up in uh, Kenosha has a 73, and they made like 2,800 and something of them of the Javelin AMXs, and then 10% of those were 414 speeds, which his is. And then 10% of those were uh, Pierre Cardin interior, which his is. So he's wow. got a car that's probably like one of, you know, maybe less than 30 cars. Wow. Yeah, the AMC was doing a lot of stuff back then. They, they had the, uh, you know, the 
the Air Condan interior, they had the uh, Wrangler interior. Yep, they had a Levi you know, jeans. Levi's. Yeah, That's everything. Oh, yeah, you did. Those were on the Gremlins mostly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm a Gremlin guy. Are you? I always wanted a Gremlin. I always thought they looked really cool. Um, never had one, but, you know, if, it was, if I was going to say my bucket list car would definitely be an AMX, not a, not a Gremlin. Not a Gremlin, yeah. But I do like the Gremlins. I'm sorry. I'm not going to apologize. I think they're really cool. Yeah, hey, this car is so original that I just don't, you know, I just don't want to do anything to it. So. No, you really can't. I mean, it's just really a magnificent example of the breed. And, you know, now, when your mom worked there, you said, you told me a story before. She was there, uh, was the two millionth? Yeah, she, uh, she was uh, about 27 years old at the time. And um, this friend of mine was really an AMC historian. Um, he looked it up and he, he from what he can tell, they sold the two millionth Rambler in 1962. And so there's several black and white photos of her holding a Rambler station wagon um, with stacks of invoices, you know, it said, that says Rambler on it. And that was a two millionth Rambler sold. But yeah, I got probably four pictures of that. You know, I will say this too, on this car, one thing I've noticed, it really does ride nice. You know, I don't know how the steering is as far as, you know, a lot of the cars of the 60s had that kind of steering, no feel steering. Yeah, no, nah, I mean, it's it's loose, but I mean, it's, it's a dinosaur. I mean, I don't know what else to expect. <laughs> yeah, but who wouldn't want to have a dinosaur? If you could have oh. your own pet dinosaur, you'd take it. Right, right. So, you know, cars burn gas that the dinosaurs made. So it's exactly. I guess it all full circle. goes together, right? Yeah. yeah, they called this the power blister, this Ram Air Hood thing. Okay. So, when I first got this car, it's like, wow, that thing's like 18 inches high. I can hardly see over it. Like now it doesn't. Yeah, it's part of the car. Yeah. Yeah. See that a that AMX placard. What's the number on there? Oh yeah, twenty one nine four. Yeah, they they only made like eighteen thousand something of them. <laughs> You know, I actually have the original AMC A-Track that they came with this to sound since 1970. Oh, very cool. Yeah. yeah. I like how the instrument panel is very simple, almost more simple than you would think, you know, it just says AMX in the middle. Uh, you got your AC ducts, your air conditioning, your uh, stereo yep. is on the bottom with your ashtray and your cigar lighter. And all the other controls are on your side. So it is very, very simple. Layout. Yeah, the, 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 when it changed the body style uh, on that Javelin AMX, you can see it's like really Art Deco. It's more curved like a cockpit, and it's got all the multi-faceted, um, you know, metal-looking stuff on it. Yeah, yeah this was def just, definitely was more aircraft inspired yeah. inside. Toggle right, right. switches. Stylist Dick Teague tried to keep the AMX a two-seater after 1970. Uh, one of the sketches and one of the cars they built had uh, he kind of grafted on the big hump fenders from the 71 Javelin to the, the original body style. Um, didn't quite work. The car was too short and stubby for those big fenders. Uh, he also designed the fabulous AMX3 show car, which was a two-seat mid-engine Italian-built sports car of which six survive today. Technically, it wasn't a production vehicle, but my God, it was gorgeous. Um, so the 1970 ended up being the last of the true two-seat AMX from AMC. Randy Buckner, our Wisconsin boy, Kenosha kid, he's got this car now. I don't think he's ever going to give it up. Um, it's a special car, and we really appreciate him uh, letting us ride along and feel that ice-cold AC. Please subscribe to Muscle Car Campy if you haven't already. Ring the bell so you get notified when a new video goes live. We'll see you soon.